My name is Lindsay. I am a face and body painter and I live in a 2004 Chevy Express. I'm from Alaska! <laughs> in Alaska, everyone's kind of bored. And so I found that everybody really enjoys it. Everybody enjoys body painting, temporary body art, glitter tattoos, henna, stuff like that. My demographic is mostly adults. Actually, like men over 25 is who I paint the most. This is my craft and go. It is like a full magnetized kit that allows me to work mobily. I just pull it out of the back of my van and I can go anywhere. I can be a street vendor or going to people's houses. I can create anything from prosthetics to full body paint to just like a quick face paint. In the wintertime in Alaska, there's very little work for anyone, especially if you're autistic. And I was in a financial situation where I needed to make income quickly, but I didn't just want to get a job because I knew that that would hurt me in the long run. And if I just persevered, I would be able to make money doing something that I believe in. The weather gets really bad in Canada. And so if I was going to leave and try to make something of myself and have this really big adventure that I've been yearning for for years, I'd have to do it now. I started building out the van November 1st, and then I left December 3rd, so 33 days from start to finish. Ultimately, it was just a leap of faith. It was hoping that I could make it down in the lower 48 with my art, hoping that I was going to find opportunity and find people who appreciate what I do and what I bring to the table. This is my van, her name is Shelby. The biggest thing that I wanted in my van was a sink because of my body painting. So I have a foot pump that I just go in there and push with my foot and then I hold my brushes or whatever. I have two five gallon tanks. The one on the right is my fresh water my gray water. I don't generate that much gray water, surprisingly, and it's actually not gray when I dump it out. It's usually pink, which is kind of funny because of all the paint. Wherever I want to be is where I can live. And I see these people that have these $15 million homes that look at this view of the ocean that I shared for that night. I live in a van and I experienced a $15 million view for nothing. <laughs> that would probably be my favorite. I have this little area that I discovered when I was on a boat that are like have silverware and whatever in them and I thought that was really cool and I want to incorporate that in the van. This is my pantry. Um, this is kind of my spice area. They're just little magnets. And I didn't think they were gonna be strong enough, but turns out they are, and they don't ever fall down or anything. And then this is my bed. It's a full size, and it's just memory foam. Down here is all of my storage. I have my pots. I have my stove. <laughs> it's like the little bit fancier version than the green one. It has like 21,000 BTUs. It can be really, really hot and you can sear things, you know, like make reduction sauces if you want to be fancy. And then uh, right now I'm just using a cooler for my refrigeration. I have found that if you use a dry bag of the clips, if you use this for your ice, your food does not get wet. I saw lemon trees for the first time and that completely changed my life. I was just like, oh my god, there's fruit on this tree. Whoa, we have like carrots, maybe a potato. <laughs> like, we don't have citrus or anything. This is my closet. These are pants, this is shirts, and this is dresses and skirts. Hink decided to use eye hooks to make uh, the bungees stay, which I thought was kind of genius. This is my studio space. I wanted to be able to have a space where I can do my art and I knew that if I didn't have it, I wouldn't do art. 
These are like studio lights and they are really bright, which is awesome. This table can actually flip upwards and I can store like a bike or something tall in the back storage area if I want to. This is the back of the van. This is the trunk that I keep all of the things for the tent in. Supports, bungee cords, stuff like that I keep in here. This is basically the back view of what you saw up there. Over here is where I keep the tent. It just slides in right there. Everything I've ever wanted is in it. You know, I can do my entire business just out of the van. And um, I think that's a pretty cool thing. The biggest thing that I have experienced so far in van life has been the challenges. And it forces me to get out and talk to people and to communicate. I've always had a lot of love and support in my life. And I purposefully left it behind so that I could challenge myself and see if I could get by on my own. Uh, what if I do break down and by myself? Well, I'm gonna have to make friends and I'm gonna have to, you know, ask for help or do it myself. In this experience, I'm going to become someone who I want to be, and there's going to be more of me to love by the end. I'm going to strip away the love of my life, my family, to live in a van somewhere where I don't have any connections, I don't know where I'm going, and realizing that there's no such thing as being lost, that if you have found yourself, it's impossible to not know where you're going. This paradigm of you have to have a nine to five, you have to have a house, you have to have a white picket fence, you have to have children, all of that is not real. It doesn't even really exist. If you set your mind to it and you have perseverance, anything is possible. Absolutely anything. I don't wanna just wait to die. All right.